I've seen shirt cockers, draco ponies, Kate on my little bronies, and hippies who spit out art. My name is Mila Jam. I'm the only one. My pronouns are she, her, hers. And I am a recording artivist, actress, and goddess, and um, an ensemble player in Burning Man the Musical. Stage right here. Just these three. What have you heard about Burning Man? What have you heard about Burning Man? What have you heard? What have you heard? I'm a theater kid. I grew up in the theater. I love the theater. I'm passionate about performing and performing arts. I've been in the theater business for over 20 years and it has taken me literally all around the world. I think it's the best way to see the world and to be connected to people that come from completely different places that I come from. So this is why I love doing theater. This is why I wanted to be a part of something I think is so inclusive. Creating this new musical has been really inspiring. Uh, it's been activating and it's reminding me how uncertain so many things are in this world. You know, the pressure of coming into a project and creating it, discovering what it looks like and how it feels and how it translates to people. You don't know how it's gonna turn out. It takes two to tango and chat. The thing I think that makes a great musical or a show is not only intention, but the ability to make a statement to convey a message that will affect some sort of change. I think you go to the theater and you want to leave changed. You want to leave feeling differently than when you walked in. Uh, and the arc of your feelings and emotions are so important. And when you leave that experience, you're compelled to talk about it, to share it, to tell people about it. Uh, and it actually makes you think about what your perspective on life is and what that means. And I hope that with this project, we really take the opportunity to not only talk about or use the vehicle of Burning Man to tell a story, but I think that story should incorporate what it really feels like to be someone that is up against a lot of adversity, comes from a different background. It's like the brush we're painting with is Burning Man, but the actual painting that we're seeing should be about the change you're making with the story and it affecting how people relate to those different adversities and changes and things that we're going through. Walking into the space for the first time was pretty cool. It's very campy, it's very theatrical, but it also is really unique because the set designers have created like scrims that have like hand-painted art of the desert on them. There's so many different parts of this coming together with everyone's individual contribution. So I hope it looks cool. I hope we look dope. I hope we look like the stars that we are. <laughs> A day in the life of Mila Jam at Burning Man the Musical is all kinds of uh, versions of weirdness, fabulousness, craziness, costumes, and et cetera going on. It's um, never a dull moment. It's a lot of different things because we are putting together a project and we have protocols and we're trying to tell a story and we're also trying to learn choreography. So many different hats. That's what a day of Mila Jam looks like. In this production, I have five costumes. Uh, we actually added a costume for one of the characters in one of the scenes that I do, that I requested, because I was like, I don't have enough costumes, I don't have enough costumes. The purple wig I wore the other day was part of a new costume I created based off of a conversation that I had with Tyler, the director, where I was like, this character, I, she needs to have like a foxy glamazon moment. like." a giant afro or something in that world and it didn't have a costume so it just started with the hair and then it just came together at the last minute that was our costume number five that we added <laughs> we are fighting for our right to be who we are in a world that doesn't think we belong 
when people see this project, I hope they can see the message of community. And I think Burning Man the Musical, that it's about community, it's about camaraderie, it's about uh, creating uh, a space of inclusivity for people that don't look like you, that come from many different places. People's stories have been overlooked for so long that people want to see themselves represented in the most mundane things, the most exciting things, and the most, the most creative things. That is something that we do think about creating this piece and making this piece, and just showing the different perspectives of what, you know, what it looks like to have me in a show like this, what it looks like to have someone else in a show like this, and our own little stories coming together to tell this story. What have you heard about Birdie Man?